is going on, y'all? It's 8.30 in the morning. Right now, we headed to Ninja's appointment. We were supposed to be there at 8.30, but I couldn't find the keys to the car. Um, so we are a little late. Ninja's in the back laying down. You can see her. Um, should be there in about five minutes, so it'll be about 10 minutes late, but hopefully it's not an issue. Um, I'll keep you all updated. And the nurse just went to get the prescription, um, basically telling me how to clean the drains for Nancy. Uh, she said Nancy's not going to wear a garment for the next couple days, so some of the bruising can heal up. Um, it's pretty good. Bagged up the Faha. I'm gonna have to take that back to the Airbnb and get that wash. She has to bring it back when she gets her first massage on the second. Um, so right now I'm about to just find somewhere to get this prescription filled. And then, um, that's about it. We're gonna eat today, rest up. Uh, hopefully Nancy feels a little bit better after she eats and gets all these prescriptions filled. That's another bonus about being in the States. You know, you go overseas, can't get any, get any prescriptions filled. And quite frankly, they don't even give you any. Uh, those are just extra bonuses of being in the States. Um, the massages, they never really talked about that, going overseas. Um, the drainage plugs, she taught me how to clean them in the back. So that's another plus. Um, that's what the peroxide's for. Also the Neosporin. Um, we gotta buy some gauze and some, uh, some gauze tape, but it's pretty much it. Um, once we get those things, she'll be good to go. And once she goes back for the massage, they'll put the garment back on. So some of her bruising will go away. Because the skin right now is just full of inflammation due to the surgery. But everything looks good. Of course, I got to see it behind the scenes. It looks amazing. Yeah, no. 
may even cut off the camera. I don't know why, but um, they got some pretty looks decent, smells decent. These are my French fries right there. Uh, these are the turkey sandwich. Spicy sauce on the side, ketchup for my fries. I don't know what this white stuff is, maybe pork rice or something. I don't know. Um, Pretty, pretty nice backyard. Hey guys, um, it's Nancy. I'm feeling a little bit out of it. I'm still very sedated. Um, if you're wondering why I have to wear this, um, I also, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but I also got chin lipo to get rid of my double chin that I hate with all my heart, but I believe it's gone now. It's just still a little bit swollen. Um, I haven't really been able to eat anything much. Thomas bought me a sandwich. It was kind of disgusting. Um, so I was laying on the futon, hanging out with Thomas for a little bit, but now I'm just ready to go back to bed. feel pretty tired, like I always have been. So, I mean, other than that, and other than Thomas filling you guys in about the doctor's appointment earlier, we're just going to chill out and just, I guess, work on me getting better. So, thanks guys. Talk to you later. step up for him. He's really in here. He's draining the fat now. And so he'll just finish up dinner. Alright. So I just got back from CVS. I had to go pick up some gauze pads. Um, I'll figure out a way that I can show you all how to change them since I got to change lenses. I got some cloth tape. Some peroxide because that's what you need to clean the incision with. You got some neosporin because you also have to lubricate it. And then these are all the prescriptions. So this is penotoxiflin. Um, it's basically to help the circulation of the blood so she doesn't get blood clots or anything like that. Um, supposed to take this three times a day, one in the morning, one midday, and then one in the evening. Um, right here, these, these are the Zofran for the nausea, 
She also still has a patch behind her ear, and that lasts for three days to help with nausea. Uh, these, of course, are the iron pills. Um, she takes these once a day, and she's been taking them about a month prior. Uh, she also takes the vitamin C pills too, which are a thousand milligrams to help with her immune system. Here's some Advil PN just in case. Uh, sometimes the Percocets are a lot, so sometimes if the pain's not that bad, she can take these. Um, here's the Cypro. This is an antibiotic. Um, she takes these twice a day at two different times. This is the Clarithmicin. Um, she takes, there's also an antibiotic that she takes twice a day at different times. These are the stool softeners just from taking all this medication. Sometimes it can make people constipated. And last but not least, these are the Percocets. So these are all the things that were prescribed in total. I want to say all this stuff probably costs under $50 um, of course if you have insurance it helps so that's what's pretty much cut down the budget on all this stuff um, I know I glimpsed through these but I didn't show you all the post op instructions so basically here's all the medications and it breaks down you know, when she should be taking them. Also, how she should be sleeping. Um, it says she should wait about four to six weeks before she starts trying to sit on her butt. Um, the liposuction care basically tells you, you know, drink a lot of Gatorade or fluids. Um, also, the drains in her legs are, well, not in her legs, but from her stomach is all the excess fluids and fats and everything else. So, today will be her first day eating protein, um, beef. So, it's a plus. Um, she gets two massages while she's down here, one on the second and then one on the all right so thomas's goulash is all done looks really good it's gonna be my first time eating some meat a little bit of a heavier meal that's enough baby thank you thanks thomas hey guys so i'm gonna attempt on eating i have to sit like this Facing the pillow. I can't sit on my butt. So, I enjoy this meal that Thomas made for me. Ah, I gotta bend over. It's hard eating while standing up. Yesterday, I don't know if I told you guys, but during um, surgery, they put like a breathing tube down my throat, so like it kind of really hurts to like chew, swallow. I mean, chewing is the easy part, swallowing is the hard part. Um, got some raspberry ginger ale, my favorite. I'm taking it easy. My face is so swollen. Tastes great. Uh, 